1 million views. Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California. It's a super hot day today and I thought I just want to talk to you today. You hear the music in the background? Guess who that is? Yeah, you're right. This is the one and only Harry Perry. No, I have not forgotten what day is today. Today is Michael Jackson's 65th birthday and a lot of people are going to be at the Forest Lawn Cemetery. I already watched some live this morning. Ron actually left to Vegas and that's the reason why I don't want to do a video today because most of my friends, they're actually in Vegas and the other people I normally hang out with, they actually have to work because it's during the week. So the place is not going to be too busy during the week. And I needed like a little break because I've been filming the last few days a lot. I didn't get enough sleep and today I said I'm just going to sleep in and then maybe I'm going to go down there. But traffic is so bad already that I decided to come to the beach today and do like a video about the 1 million views on my hurricane video. Can you believe it? 1 million views. I didn't expect that. The first day I got the 750,000 views in one day and I was like, what? Did I look right? And then it took me another six days to get the million views. I think that was the fastest grown video I ever had reaching a million. Look, this is August. This place is empty here, the Venice Beach. Normally this place used to be packed of people, but it's a Tuesday. There's not much going on here. He's just chilling, him, the music and the waves. And of course the hot sun today. Lifeguard on duty. Every lifeguard stand is actually open. Normally they're closed, but it's because summertime, I believe. Just a few more days until Labor Day weekend. It's the perfect day to chill on the beach. It's a little windy. I can't believe summer is officially over in three days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The seaweed situation got worse since the last time I was here. Look at all that stuff over there actually sink in maybe it's because of the storm and it rained so much that it all came here to the coast he's actually cleaning up the beach trying man trying Some influencer would grab like a bag and they show how they clean up the beach and then after 20 minutes they bail. But this guy just does it because he wants to do it. Nobody's, he didn't even know I'm gonna film him. That's pretty cool. And you can tell the water is a little warmer now because a lot of people don't have a wetsuit on here. Remember when I filmed the beach a couple days ago how brown the water was? It looks really clear today. Didn't expect that. Look at this little guy here looking for some food. Another little fella. So what was I saying about the hurricane? I kind of felt like I let you guys down because the anticipation was so big. Everybody was talking about it, it was in the news. It's gonna be the storm of the year. It never happened before like this tropical storm. I was ready to film whatever is going to happen, no matter what. I was out there if it's like a four or three, the palm trees are going this way, the GIV would have been there. And I tried the best I could and I went out, woo! And I went out and um, nothing really happened. And a lot of people said, oh, that isn't a storm. That is not a hurricane. That's just a rain. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I didn't know. and. <laughs> I feel like I got cheated a little bit that I got so many views for something I didn't really do much about it, you know, but like I said, I tried to do the best I could and a lot of people liked the video anyway. So thank you so much for all the people that have been watching the video and gave me a million views. I also wanted to do a video when I hit 333,333 subscribers say that number fast and 
I was waiting for the video to do the video and then this hurricane video came up and I went straight to 30 337,000 so I couldn't really do a video I just wanted to say thank you to all the people they subscribe to my channel I always try to do the best I can to entertain you guys and get you some good footage see where else can you get footage like this other than the National Geographic what's up you guys how you doing yeah he just waved you're on the GIV channel right now Holy moly. Man, look at this awesome footage here I'm getting. And just to show you how lazy I was this morning, I'm still wearing the same shirt I was wearing yesterday for the Bob Barker video. And look at this. I have to do laundry soon. See, sometimes when you do stuff, you don't take in consideration how old you are now. You think it's easy to jump from here to here? No, it's not. Look, I don't even know how I'm going to get over to the other side now. Can you help me, dude? And speaking about Bob Parker, what did I say? Please help to control the animal population by neuter and spray it. I said spray it, I guess, instead. I don't even know what the real word is now. Spade. I said spray it. So don't spray the animals, spay the animals. But I think that's kind of the allure I have on my channel when I say stuff wrong. At least I made you smile, but you always know what I mean, right? And I have to say, after leaving that cemetery yesterday, I kind of like felt a little bit bad thinking about life, thinking about what is it all what is it all about making another video making another video tomorrow making another video i get to see a lot of stuff when i do youtube and i'm really fortunate and happy that i actually one of those guys that can make a living doing a youtube channel so i shouldn't complain but sometimes and i told my friends that too i'm doing so many videos not as many as some other YouTubers, but I stay pretty busy. And then people think, wow, the GIV is putting all this footage out there. But when I go home at night, I sometimes feel I haven't anything accomplished. And you probably don't understand. I do accomplish something, but I have this void feeling that I don't accomplish anything. Even though I just put up a nice video People smile, people laugh, people are entertained. So, I don't know if you guys understand what I try to say. And I don't even know if you guys want to hear all my rambling here. But I guess it's nice to talk to you anyway. Hey, it's you. You just watched my other video the other day. And hey, look, there's another, hey, I remember you. Thanks for coming by the other day. I appreciate it. <laughs> the GIV lost his marbles. You always try to do everything right in life. Well, most of the time. Look, she's just laying there enjoying herself, getting a nice suntan, getting vitamin D. That's what the doctor says. You need vitamin D being in the sun. But then on the other hand, when you're in the sun, you also can get skin cancer. I guess it's all in moderation. When you just sit down in the sand, you got sand everywhere. But I don't really care because I was selling drinks on the beach before and I got sand everywhere. You know, my channel is my channel and normally I can do whatever I want to do on my channel. And people say, Mike, you don't have to explain yourself. But I kind of do all the time and I want to address something here, which I shouldn't address, but I just do because sometimes I think about stuff like this. Um, I was just doing the video on my mom's birthday, uh, 77th birthday. First, I want to say thank you so much for all the happy birthday wishes to my mom. She was super, super happy to read all the nice comments. She read a lot of them and she couldn't believe it that so many people wished her happy birthday. So anyway, when I looked at the video, you, can all, you can't see it. I think they blocked anybody's 
thumbs down, but in my analytics, I can still see it. And there's people, they give it a thumbs down if I do a birthday video for my mom or even Bob Barker. I just happen to see it and I'm not gonna address it again. I just wanna tell a few people. They put, I went to uh, the cemetery, I went to his house. I'm trying to do a really good video about Bob Barker and people give it a thumb down. I mean, what is there to put a thumb down in that video? I've been doing YouTube, I don't know for how long, and I've never, ever, ever gave somebody a thumb down because they're trying to do something with their lives and I just can't believe, what do people think? I mean, if you don't like it, that's good, then don't watch it. <laughs> it doesn't do anything you think it does because I'm talking about it. I just wanted to tell people how bad do they feel that they have to give a thumbs down. You guys probably understand what I tried to say. The people that are doing it, they probably don't understand why they're doing it. Maybe they just have big fingers and instead of doing the thumbs up, they're doing the thumbs down. That could happen too. That's something I wanted to address too. I normally do not pay attention to stuff like this and I'm 55, you can't call me any names in the world. I don't really care, dude, because I know who I am and I know what I am, so I don't really care. I really miss sitting on the beach just like this. I should do that more often. Molly was barking early at me, but look what I got. Molly, look at this. See, that, that's how you make friends on the beach. Molly's building herself a little place to hang out. There we go. That sport is really popular here. Sometimes you see people with a great body and you think, how in the world do they get that body? This is how they get it, because they're working on it. Every single time, in the sun, on the beach. What's going on? Huh? Why are you so mean to me? I didn't do nothing. People putting the stickers on here. What's going on? See, sometimes when I come to the beach, I'm thinking, okay, today I want to say this in my video. I want to say this in my video. And now I'm here and I forgot what I wanted to say. What kind of shoes are you wearing? Crocs? Those are Crocs for dogs? Huh? Yeah, the They're nice. Always people try to get attention here on the beach. I think it was somewhere right here four years ago when I started my YouTube channel when I said in my video that I'm gonna get a thousand subscribers and I'm gonna be monetized. And I had no idea how to get any views. And I still don't know how to get views. When you think about it, one million views, if I can do it, you can do it. I always tell people, just do a YouTube channel. It doesn't cost you anything. All you gotta do is just upload, 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 and maybe you become successful. Even though I just heard a study that 80% of all YouTubers never get monetized. So it is actually accomplishment to make a living on YouTube, I think. I never thought about it. See what happened here. We can all imagine what happened here today. I don't want to say, but you can see. Happened right here in the bathroom. We all know something bad happened here for sure. And I put the white towel on top of it. Stuff like this happen all the time and you don't even hear about it. The good thing is he survived. And yes, people disagreed filming stuff like this, but if you don't film stuff like this, like I said, you don't know if stuff like this is happening all the time. It's not just like once in a while, it happens all the time. When I did my bathroom video, I had no idea that people actually live in the bathroom. They stay there overnight, they stay there during the day. And if you don't film stuff like this, nobody ever knows about it. Is it good that people know? 
I don't really know, but this is what happened in Venice. Even if stuff like this happens, only the people around it, they saw it and they said, okay, it happened, but people do not know anywhere else that stuff like this happens every day. There's a place available right here in Venice. Perfect. Overlooks the ocean. I think I'm gonna go check out Santa Monica for a second. I had to switch from bike to scooter. I had no more juice in my bike and it's not easy to paddle because it's paddle assist. So I had to get my little scooter out. Man, how come you don't see any overweight people here playing that sport here? They're all in good shape. They're not at home looking TikTok or watching YouTube. They're out here doing it. They're all skinny. Everybody here is skinny. We gotta work out some more for sure. Look at the horsey. There's a horsey here. Wow. So maybe by the time this video is out, I'm probably gonna have 340,000 subscribers. So I wanna say thank you to each of you guys. With you, it would not have been possible. So thank you very much. I'm still working on the 1 million. It's probably gonna take a little bit, but hey, you never know. And I also wanna say thank you very much to all the people they donated something to my PayPal account. I have not sent you back an email. I was pretty busy in the last few days. So thanks again to all the people and um, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for subscribing to the GIV. One family. Made it all the way to Santa Monica. Am I gonna check out the pee up there? It is a really nice view here from the pier all the way to Venice, right over there. Looks like Santa Monica Beach is packed, even when the sun goes down. Wow, there's actually a line to take a picture of Route 66. It ends right here. Well, my friends from all over the world, the day is coming to an end. I'm here on the Santa Monica Pier, and I don't even know what else I wanted to tell you. As soon as I finish this video, I find something else to tell you but if you happen to like this video the one I just did maybe you want to give it a thumbs up push the notification bell and subscribe to the German in Venice what a chill day today so quiet I see you guys later have a great tomorrow just sing <laughs>